thank you for your time today. Um, I want to quickly introduce myself, and I'll turn it to Rian to introduce himself. Uh, my name is Kevin Pennington. I'm a partner with PwC, and I lead our upscaling product called ProEdge, which we'll talk a little bit about today. Rian, you want to quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Uh, so my name is Rian Ustazen, and I am our ProEdge ESG leader. And I sit at the intersection of ESG upscaling and, uh, and technology and people. So excited to have this conversation. Thanks, Kevin. This year has been like none other. There's been societal changes, geopolitical um, events that have happened, transforming kind of the way we live and the way we work. Um, leaders everywhere navigating the increased demands, um, including, including an evolving pandemic, uh, the great resignation, which is affecting us all, the rise of hybrid work, where people are deciding to work in, in many different ways, obviously climate change and racial and socioeconomic disparities. Together, we're one firm united by a purpose and values. If you ask what our purpose is, the answer is the same. We build trust in society to solve important problems. By doing this, we really aim to make a meaningful difference in the world. We also provide a number of ESG-related services for our clients. Uh, we work with them to create new solutions that help them on their ESG efforts themselves. Um, we provide everything from defensive strategies around reporting um, to offensive strategies around operations and strategy. It's about building skills, building skills and things like uh, ESG reporting or decarbonization efforts or net zero activation, sustainable finance, ESG investing. And the, the list is expansive. For that education piece, um, ProEdge can play a, a big part. ProEdge being a, a PwC platform we've been working on for a few years. So maybe, Kevin, I, I'd love just to get your, your input on ProEdge. You've been in, involved with ProEdge for a few years now. Yeah, absolutely. ProEdge at its core is an upskilling and what we call citizen-led innovation platform that really empowers organizations and their people to, to, with skills of the future and tools they need to work differently um, and really focused on reaching their goals. Yuriyan, why don't you talk just a little bit about kind of our, our, our PwC ESG story? For some organizations, ESG, or at least uh, under a different you know, nomenclature has been around for, for some time, right? You, you might have some sustainability talent. You might have talent focused on climate change or materiality or sourcing, um, you know, manufacturing optimization, et cetera. And so um, for some organizations that talent exists, for many, it does not. Content is essentially anything that you can read, watch, or listen to in a relatively short amount of time. So these are articles, videos, podcasts from some of the most reputable providers in the ESG space. So on ProEdge, we have you know roughly 1,500 different articles, videos, and podcasts to raise your awareness about ESG, the different issues, the impacts on industries, you know what, what's forthcoming, um, et cetera. Uh, courses are a bit more self-explanatory, and we have about 50 ProEdge ESG courses with, again, some of the mo more reputable uh, course providers uh, in the education landscape to, to provide ESG skill training, again, on things like ESG reporting, sustainable finance, yeah, ESG investing, uh, decarbonization efforts, etc. NYU has a, a school of sustainability um, that we um, worked with to co-develop um, some of our ESG courseware. It's very well received by our clients, and, and there's a positive impact to, to, uh, to their experience with those courses. And then finally, credential programs, and these are a bit unique to ProEdge, but <clears throat> essentially with credentials, we've developed using our own ESG practitioners, our people who are out in the market doing ESG work. These project-based experiences that <clears throat> narrow the focus of a really abstract topic like ESG to the functional level, right? I think we think that the, the impact of, of ESG is quite different for the finance function as it is for the sales function or the manufacturing function or supply chain. Again, if you're in supply chain or procurement, you're thinking about ethical sourcing, geopolitical impact on your sourcing. Whereas in finance, it might be a little bit more focused on reporting. With our credential programs, we highlight those nuances. And ultimately, our learners leave with a credential from us uh, in something like climate change, materiality, sustainable finance, et cetera. Um, so that's a little bit of uh, our, our pro-edge approach to ESG upscaling.
from a societal perspective, ProEdge is one of those uh, firm commitments that we have in really trying to drive um, the, the effort to close the digital divide, if you will, right? So providing access to skill development uh, and opportunities like, not, like never before. This is about business, but it's also about just work readiness. Um, so Rion, so the, the, the S and ESG really kind of focuses on DE&I, um, and I, and ProEdge is a big part of that. Why don't you talk briefly about kind of our a AYP program and, and how that's making a difference? We as a firm have put an intentionality and a focus behind the S, and, and that DNI part, as well as being integral to our ProEdge offering and what we do for our clients, is certainly something we focused on as a, as a firm. So a few years ago, we launched uh, a program we call Access Your Potential. And Access Your Potential essentially provides um, digital and career upskilling opportunities for Black and Hispanic and Latinx uh, college students who are able to access these digital upskilling opportunities um, pro bono. Um, and our aim is to reach about 25,000 students by the end of, uh, of fiscal year 26. DE and I is, is very much a part of your ESG journey and your ESG strategy. We're investing in our people and their own personal ESG journey. Um, we, you know, as an example, we give people in the firm 40 hours a year to really reinvest in societal issues that are important to them as individuals. Um, and they're important to them, right? And, and make a difference for them in their lives. Um, this has made a real impact kind of locally um, with our people and helps them express their own purpose. Um, our purpose with products like ProEdge is really to upskill the world one learner at a time.